news for people who can't stand the news. Camille Cosby was set to be deposed yesterday in a civil proceeding brought by seven of the accusers of her husband of sexual, I don't know, misconduct, sexual harassment, sexual situations. Okay. Luckily, Camille Cosby's defense team was able to file a motion, an emergency motion, on Monday, and the court approved it to give her a stay. A stay. It doesn't mean she will never have to testify. It's just she's going to be able to formally appeal. Okay, so that's what's going on. Meanwhile, in mainstream media on talk shows, people were throwing Camille Cosby under the bus one after the other. That's not as uh, not to be outdone was the talk. Cheryl Underwood, the Weave Queen, and Aisha Tyler, the I don't know, I don't know what she's about. Seems they're about getting publicity and appealing to their white daddy. Hey, white daddy, how you doing, white daddy? Please help me keep working in Hollywood. So anyway, so they were on the show last night. I watched the show, and uh, well, yesterday, and I watched the show this morning, and I saw where they summarily dissed Camille Cosby, saying that she should have to testify uh, because she may know things. And here's my thing. Yes, Camille Cosby was married to Bill Cosby for a long time. They, they got married back in 1964, and she has served not only as a wife and a mother and a partner, but as a mother to his children and a partner and all that stuff. But also, she's been a business manager. So, yes, she may know some financial aspects of Bill Cosby's life and his comings and goings, dates and what have you. But here is my thing, guys, and let's make this clear. There was nothing that Camille Cosby would know that they can't find in records and receipts and travel arrangements that are all probably documented online. I mean, come on, what would Camille Cosby possibly know about the allegations or the alleged kissing of Bill Cosby, between Bill Cosby and a woman in a bar back in 1974? But for whatever reason, that didn't matter to Cheryl Underwood and Aisha Tyler as they proceeded to throw Camille Cosby under the bus. Now, what's one thing for you to rush to judgment on Bill Cosby and say, well, you know, these women don't have to have any proof of anything, no no exams, no receipts, no alibis, no, you know, and, and it doesn't matter that you don't even want to Google and find that a number of these women weren't in the same places. They have no dates, no times, no specifics about when these things took place. Some of them don't even know which year this happened. Okay, fine. But why would you throw Camille Cosby under the bus? As far as I can remember, I do not recall a single instance of Camille Cosby saying a cross thing about you, heifers, or anybody else for that matter. In fact, the only thing she's guilty of at this point is marrying a guy who may have had a thing for the ladies. And I think no one's doubting that, but if he's a rapist, and that's, that's yet to be proven. It just appalls me that these black women would sit up here and throw black women under the bus and no one called them out for it. I haven't heard a single solitary person call them out. None. Why the first person coming to Camille Cosby's aid would be a black man. Interesting. At any rate, I think you should check yourselves. Oh, and also, a couple other people on that show had a lot of sly shit to say themselves. Ozzy's wife, whatever her name is, I forget. How would you like it someone deposing you and making you talk about your drug addict husband? Who knows where his dick's been all these years? Hmm. I wonder how much you would like that. Or Melissa Gilbert, how about your girlfriend? Huh? What if someone wanted to talk to you about your love child? Or where your partner's been all this time? Who they've been with while you're out here doing the talk? See, people, it's uncomfortable. But once again, what does that have to do with anything? Like, It's not like, do, are you suggesting that maybe Bill Cosby and came home and told Camille about his affairs, who he was sleeping with? See, he's not on trial for sleeping with people. He's on trial for raping people. Are you suggesting that it's possible that if you, if he actually did any of this stuff, he came home and told his wife, hey, I raped a bitch today. I had to take the pussy. You know, that's how I roll. No. I mean, come on. I, for one, hope that Camille Cosby wins this fight and does not have to testify against her husband because I support families and I support this family. And it's still innocent until proven guilty, even though you career hungry, trying to tap dance for your master. 
women think it's not. I don't know. It's just me. Maybe it's just me. I'm jaded like that. Can't just tell me something. You got to show me proof. Call me stubborn. I'm Tim Black. Leave your comments in the comment section. I'm sure there will be many. I, Melissa Gilbert.